Well, Vikings fans, this is the crossover that we didn't think we needed, but here we are. We got Mr. Ledley King from Tottenham Hotspur. We know that you guys have the warmest hospitality when we go across the pond, but what right. brings you over here? Um, well, we know that you guys are coming to, to our stadium in, yep. in October, so we wanted to come over, share the experience yep. a little bit. So it's fantastic for us to, to be able to come over here check out your amazing facilities here and uh, you know just kind of build on the relationships yep. that we've started to, to put together. Let's walk and talk. You yeah, ready? Sure, sure. So first things first, just understanding you played 13 years for Tottenham, correct? That's right, that's correct. King. Ledley King! And Ledley King scores in the opening two minutes. What a start for Tottenham. Talk to me about the, the meaning of that because we got a couple yeah. of guys on this Vikings team that's been Vikings their entire yeah, career. Yeah, I mean CJ just told me that he's been there his, his whole career, which is quite rare yep. in in not just NFL but in in, in soccer as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I just built up, up a fantastic relationship with the fans mm -hmm. uh, over a, a period of time, and you know the club always meant a lot to me. I've been captain of the club mm -hmm. uh, as well. Uh, I just wanted to, to see the club go on and achieve great things, and I wanted to be part of that. That's awesome. Well, I was doing some research yeah. before we started this interview, and I was like, Lely King, I know he was a defender, yeah, but I right. know he had to score some goals. Your first celebration of your goal, you had an airplane okay. dance? Okay. Yeah, slight. I, I didn't score too many goals, Okay. so I never prepared for it okay. to celebrate, okay? okay. The, the attackers, they prepare because they know they're going <laughs> to score. I was surprised, okay. and it just the reaction was whatever it was. All right, put yourself in an American footballer's yes. mind. Yes. If you scored your, if you scored an NFL touchdown, yes. what would your celebration be? Um, I love some of the, the NFL celebrations. They're so, uh, you know, forward thinking. You know, yeah. they're, they're, you know, whatever's happening at the time. Yep. I think I would, I'd break out in a break dance or something <laughs> like that. I'd be, I'd be spinning on my back. I'd be, you know, I'm finished with that. I'm gonna be out there. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. That. There was a touchdown dance that was pretty popular here. Okay. Justin Jefferson, the gritty. Uh, I won't have you do that today. But <laughs> yeah. just understanding that your your career has been a, a career of endurance. If you had to compare the endurance that a soccer player in, has to go through and compare that to NFL yeah. as far as physicality, yeah, sure. how do the two compare? Well, there's no doubt that the NFL is, is a lot more physical, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of sports do kind of, uh, you know, share a lot of similarities. Mm -hmm. You know, it, me being a defender, I had to use my kind of physicality mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we put our bodies through a lot, a lot of pounding uh, as well. But there's no doubt that, that you know the NFL yeah. guys they take a, a hell of a lot of uh, <laughs> more of a pounding than, than us soccer players do. My last question for you: We just love having you here. Love having you been part a part of. Yeah. You know what we're trying to do here is bringing the game overseas. Yes. Understanding that, how have you seen American football grow in your country? Well, it's grown massively. Um, you know, over the last I'd say ten years or so, mm -hmm. you know, you just you just see it every year. It seems to get bigger. Obviously, we're delighted to have our fantastic new new stadium. Yeah. That, that's you know, designed to, to, to host NFL games and to have people from all over the world traveling to our stadium to watch NFL teams playing there is, is something special for us. And, uh, you know, what's, what's also great is that we have young people growing up in the UK now that mm -hmm. are seeing the game at a different level and maybe thinking they, that there's something that they could do. I actually say to myself, I would have loved the opportunity to have played as a young kid mm -hmm. because I, I believe that it's, there's a position for everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to be necessarily the, the tallest or, or the, you know the fastest you can have different attributes you know whether it's your throwing whether it's your kicking yep. whether it's your you know your physicality you know I'm sure every young person can identify with a different position a different player and say that's something maybe I could do me I probably would I've always felt like I've got good hands, good, okay. good kind of reactions. Okay. You know, when I was a bit younger, I had, you know, good, good lateral movement. Maybe I'd like to have been a, a wide receiver. Maybe. That's awesome. We, yeah. we know Kevin O'Connor, our head coach here, likes to throw to his wide receiver. So maybe you could have fit in into yeah, this Kieran yeah, yeah. roster. I think, I mean, nowadays, when I, whenever I meet the players, I say to myself, maybe I couldn't. Looking at the size of them, I'm thinking, you know, I had a lot of work to do to, to, to get a lot bigger and stronger. But no, it's a fantastic game for sure. Awesome. Well, we look, we appreciate you being here. We appreciate the warm hospitality whenever we go over to Tottenham, so uh, looking forward to this upcoming fall. Yeah, yeah, we look forward to hosting you. Thank yes, you. Sir.